Hey everybody! I'm here today to show you and tell you how to stretch clothes that are too small. This will be a full tutorial so let's get right into the video. Whether your clothes are just too small or whether you've shrunk them by accident, these are four things that you can do to stretch those clothes out. Let's get right into the video and they get progressively harder. So the first one is going to be the easiest least aggressive method and then the fourth one is going to be the hardest most uh intensive method that you can use so start with the first option and probably work your way until you get it work your way through the options until you get it stretched to where you want it to be number one is very simple just pull on the area that you want to stretch or lengthen so let's say my sleeves were too short okay i could literally just go on the sleeves and just pull on them like that okay and what that's going to do is that's going to stretch the fibers, uh, the material of the shirt. I have certain sleeves that, and I'm not saying like I'm like buff or anything, but some sleeves are so tight to my wrist that, excuse me, I can't even pull them up my forearm. So what I do is I take the sleeve and I stretch the sleeve out and that makes it to the right size. It, it turns it to the right size, okay? So the first method is just, just literally just stretch it out. The second method is a little bit more intense. It's just one extra step. And that is to dampen the area with a little bit of water, then stretch it out. So same, same example with the sleeves. What I might wanna do, depending on the material, is take some water on my hand, dampen the area, and then pull to stretch it out. What you do when you wet the fibers of a piece of clothing is you allow them to be manipulated. They become a little bit more malleable so you can then stretch them out. So the second option is like the first one but you're dampening it a little bit first. The third option is if you want to stretch an entire piece of clothing, okay, by a little bit. So for the third option, you soak your piece of clothing in water. So you can either just soak it in a sink, and I'm pointing over there because there's a sink over there, or you can wash the article of clothing in the washing machine, um, in the washer, and then just don't, don't dry it. So you want the article of clothing to be completely soaked, wring it out, so it's just damp, okay, to a certain degree, which your washer will do that for you, right? So that's why I said that example. Um, then you want to lay it flatly on a surface and stretch out the areas that need to be stretched out. And if you're using this method, it's likely if you want to stretch out the entire shirt or piece of pants or any piece of clothing, whatever example, dress, blouse, I don't know, whatever, whatever you're wearing, okay, listen, I'm not a fashion guy here, okay, I don't know much fashion, so whatever article of clothing you're wearing, but I do know how to stretch clothes, I'm great at things like that, uh, whatever article of clothing you're wearing, if you want to stretch the whole thing, that's a great option for you, soak it, wring it out, lay it on a flat surface, and pull on the areas, the fourth option is the most intense option it will give you the biggest stretch um, but it's also used for really really stretching clothing okay and i'll tell you why now the fourth option is to do the same thing as the third wet the clothing wring it out so that it's really really damp stretch it out but then you want to use things to hold it down so i would stretch this shirt laying flatly on a table and i would use maybe cans of beans to hold down each side of the shirt holding it in a stretch position or I would hang this shirt and I would clip on weights of some sort on the bottom of it to stretch it down. Now this works really, really well, but you might sacrifice the shape of your clothing a little bit because what's happening is you're forcing it to be stretched in certain ways, which will stretch it out more than any other method, but you might get shoulders that are proportionately, disproportionately bigger than anything else on your shirt, let's say. So the idea is that, you know, this is the most stretchable option, but it might change the shape, the proportions of the clothing. I'm gonna grab, uh, I have some clothes that are drying here. Now I personally put all my clothes in the dryer, but my wife's clothes, we, we, we hang most of them. She asked me to hang most of them. So here's some pants that she has. Um, so if I wanted to make these longer, for instance, I could put them in the washing machine. When they come out, they'll be really, really damp. I would hang them up. Okay, and then from the bottom, I would clip on some weights, and what that's going to do, it can be any, it can be cans of beans, anything that, that weighs a decent amount. What that's going to do is that's going to stretch them out like this. It's going to hold them like this, um, and it's going to hold them like this as they're drying, 
which will therefore stretch them out. And you can add a couple inches to a, a, a piece of clothing like this in terms of length, okay? Same thing with width, the waistband. You can do this with, with anything. You just have to be creative with how you do it. And those are dry right now. Those are already dry. But if they were wet, when you pull an article of clothing, when you stretch it, it tends to stay there for much longer. And if you hold it there, for a decent amount of time or have it being held there with weights of some sort or anything that you can figure out, then that's gonna really keep it stretched, okay? That's it, if you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment and of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.